This week we are totally transforming this outdated buffet. We are using lots of different techniques like adding texture and paint washing. This piece is from the late 80s or early 90s or I don't even know. Doesn't matter what year it is from because no one wants it in this condition, in this color. It's like too much orange. Ugh, it hurts my eyes. <laughs> This kind of furniture is usually easy to find very cheap around here. We are going to give this piece a new life and a new home because we're going to transform it. Let's go. Here it is. It's an old buffet in decent shape. It's even got the wine glass holders, so that is really cool. This bag has to go, it's way too outdated. And some white lighting cleaner before getting started. We need the paint to get a good bond because we're going to use lots of water later on. That is why I'm going to use slick stick first. I'm using a paint roller for the flatter parts and a cheap brush for everything else. I actually didn't realize this hardware was broken. I replaced it with these basic knobs, which I have so many of. And we need to prime that as well. Once the slick stick dry, I decided to mix my own color and add texture to it. I'm using chocolate, hurricane gray and sea spray additive for texture. I mixed one cup of hurricane gray with one cup of chocolate. My goal here was to cool down the warmth of chocolate. That was my idea. <laughs> then I transferred that over to a bowl so I can add my sea spray texture additive. Sea spray texture additive makes your paint thicker and adds a yummy texture to it. I kind of don't measure, I don't follow instruction, but I suggest you do. You can control how thick it is by adding more or less according to your taste. Now we can paint that on. When adding texture, you want to paint in every direction. You also want to tap to get even more. Or you don't have to. I love to tap. I love that yummy texture. The more, the better. coats of this base texture. Now we're going to get all artsy and have some fun. That is the best part ever. Have fun. <laughs> Painting is fun. I'm starting with rusty nail. I'm 
going to lightly dry brush some of this here and there. I'm going into corners and hardware and just little details I want layered. Now we're going to do our first paint wash with a color putty. We are going to need a lint-free cloth, very important. Not microfiber, not texturized cloth, not shop towel, but a lint-free cloth, nice and soft. And some water to wet our brush. Grab a small amount of paint with your wet brush and spread out watery paint in this section we're working on. As soon as you are done, take the cloth and start tapping it away. You can spray some water on it if you feel you need to remove more. Now repeat the process everywhere. Here is what the first pass looked like dry. Now we're going to do the process again, so we have to let the first one dry completely. I left it overnight to be safe. For my second pass, I'm using a green tone of color called Kudzu. I'm going to do the same thing, but only in a few places. just filling this one out and putting it wherever I want it. I'm just playing here, really, what I'm doing. Then with my original putty color, I'm going over it with the same method. You can balance these colors however you want. a nice effect when you get all these layers going on. I love it. Once I had that balance nice, I added a little more rusty nail with a dry brush. Very light for that extra spice. Add a little bit of spice. And now for the protection, I'm using some white and black wax. First, I spread white wax everywhere. Then I used black wax around my corners and hardware. Thank you. 
And now to age my hardware, I'm using black gilding wax and amber gemstone mousse. I'll start by painting it amber for my base. I know this is a lot of steps, so just stay with me here, it will all be worth it in the end, I promise. Then I'll go over that a little with my black gilding wax. You can adjust it however you would like, but this is going to give you that aged look that we all love. And now it's just a matter of repeating the process in sections. And it was done. What a transformation. Look at the before and after. Look how far we came from that orangey, outdated piece of furniture that nobody wanted to buy to a beautiful, texturized, gorgeous buffet. Since we used all neutral colors, this piece can fit in anybody's home, at least in Maine. <laughs> I am really happy with the end results and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next week with new projects and more ideas. Love you, bye!